Many Utahns are turning to gardening as a way to pass the time and ease the stress of the pandemic. But as things heat up, gardeners are seeing more aphids. Not something you want seen growing in your garden. Fox 13's L. Thomas shows us what those look like and how to stop them from killing your plants. Step into the Smith's backyard, you'll see a prized possession. It's a very large uh, cherry tree. A two-story tall cherry tree. I got tree pride over here. From the ground up, the tree looks healthy. Hundreds of green, lush leaves. Take a closer look. So that's actually bugs. Hundreds, if not thousands, of aphids. We just purchased the home a few years ago, and we had never had fruit trees. We didn't even know this was a problem. And look at all that under there. So what happens is as the bugs continue to eat the leaves, they start to sap, which basically means they're dying. It's where we're seeing these curled up and kind of browning over here, and that's going to prevent the fruit from growing. So being able to treat these and doing it early is crucial. The best way to kill them is you can spray them off with like a hose or, or horticultural oils, or you can use a systemic insecticide or nature's route. Ladybugs love to eat aphids. Jason says there's no rhyme or reason as to why this year we're seeing more than years past. And while these bugs don't harm humans and won't entirely kill your plant, these pests are just that. A nuisance, yeah. Uh, just a pest that people don't like to have around, that's for sure. I think it's just one of those bug years. In Roy. They're very gross. L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.